music on Spotify and Phantom Lift Drive. Oh, uh, the punk. They be doing it at the punk. Oh my God. Yeah, there's so many venues here. There's some stuff closed down. And then over here, you got three links with the retractable door. Such a dope space when the weather's great. Wayne Bucket. <laughs> Oh, that's my spot, Deep Sushi over there. But coming up here on the corner is where they was doing all that protesting and they had those bricks over there. And Ruben Lau, big up to Ruben Lau, one of my heroes from down here. I'm a big fan of Ruben Lau. Right here, Louie Louie. He did a lot of posting here when they was protesting after George Floyd. But yeah, I mean, like, it's really hard to not love to not fall in love with Dallas, like, to come from Philadelphia, which is, you know, one of the greatest second cities in the United States, and I 
actually the technically the first city of the United States. All of the laws that we break and nobody pays attention to anymore, like freedom of speech, started in Philly. You know, but it's like when you take your whole life and you turn it inside out, put it in a blender and see what kind of smoothie it makes. Man, I'm so glad I added Dallas as an ingredient, like I am. Just period. I mean, it's a city. People, people want to talk country. This is a city, my nigga. It is. And the landscape is sprawling because it's not just chopped in one area. Like, if I get on site 75, like, it goes all the way up. And then, boom, you hit North Dallas. More skyscrapers. More, like, it's it's just different. Oh, shit, the Majestic is coming up. Right over here on the right. I got stuck here, but... Man, me and Raphael Sadiq really wrote some great songs for this project. There goes the Majestic Theater right there. Don't ask me why I'm lip driving y'all on the night. I just am. I'm lip driving y'all. Y'all, y'all my passengers tonight. And you ain't paying me nothing. I ain't gonna get no five star rating or nothing. But I just felt like lip driving and listening to my music. Oh, what's, what's next on this album? Well, my Place. My Place is a good one. But this... Flower, I can't do flower right now because every time I think about flower, I think about my kids. And when I think about my kids, I one of my children is, is deceased now. I can't do that right now. It's too much. Oh, this is, oh, this is me and Raphael. Ecstasy? This is a beast.
she turned it down. And I said, fuck that, give it to me. <laughs> I knew I was doing something right when I seen Genuine come into my studio three too many times to hear how it turned out. And then we did a song called Sorry that nobody um at the label would go out of their way to clear because it was a fucking hit record. As much as I like this record, I ain't listening to it. It's got too many emotional ties. Oh, woman to woman. Now see, this is why I don't understand why people are surprised about how I be rolling. I've been like this forever. Listen to this intro. Can I speak to Keisha? Can I speak to Keisha? This has been me all along. How you doing? No, you don't know who I am. But we do got something in common, though. Yeah. Yeah. My, My man. man. <laughs> we did have that common. But it's cool, though. I ain't even calling you to get irate or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Get ghetto on. I mean, it is what it is. You know, we know the game. You fucking him? You fucking him. And he ain't leaving me. Yes, you know, that's just how it goes. I'm just calling to make sure you understand where shit is coming from. Because I heard you was running around talking about you. Yeah, I got you. I know that. Whatever. Whatever. Just remember this. That car you ain't never seen. You ain't never seen it because it's mine. It's bad that you never slept with him in. You ain't doing that because I'm in that motherfucker. Matter of fact, the reason why you get treated like a two dollar hoe is strictly because of me. I just, you know, I felt kind of sorry for you and all, because you know I think you're cutting yourself short. And she was. I mean, granted. Yo, you right? No, you right? He ain't shit. What true? He ain't my shit. Yeah, I mean, you worry about yours. Maybe one day you have your own, you understand where I'm coming from. But see what you need to get this picture through your head right here. You don't even need to be hollering my name. Matter of fact, let me just break it down to you so you can understand what we're live. Oh.